What's up everybody, Typical Gamer here with your daily GTA 5 news, tips, tricks, easter eggs, guides, and more. And today I have a breakdown and analysis of the Flight School update trailer. I know it's a small trailer, but it had a lot of action, and if you slow it down, there are a couple of things to point out that some of you may have not noticed. Before we jump right into this video, I am hosting a giveaway on Twitter for $8 million in GTA money, a Megalodon Shark Cash Card. For all the instructions on how to enter and get a bonus entry, be sure to check out the description below. This update, at least from the leak, seems to be quite pricey. It's going to cost upwards of $5.6 million to get everything in it. So definitely go check that out and definitely enter to try and win that money. Without further ado, let's get right into this breakdown. First up, we have an opening shot of Fort Zancudo with what looks to be the new Buckingham Miljet taking off. Next up, you'll see the new vehicle, which is the Cock Wet. It's on the right-hand side, and you can get it in convertible or hardtop. And then to the left, you'll see the Basita, which is going to cost nearly $2 million, and it doesn't look to have any like lethal capabilities to it, like missiles or anything like that, at least from this trailer. You'll also notice the pilot walking towards the plane, and that looks like that may be a new outfit that we could purchase. Here's another shot of the Basita. Here it is taking off, though, and you can actually see a laser jet uh, just above it. And this is all happening in Fort Sankudu, which leads me to believe that the flight school may be like a sort of section off or instance event where you actually do it in Fort Sankudu. Here you'll see the new jet, it's called the Buckingham Milljet, it's going to cost $1.25 million and it can hold up to 16 players, that's at least what the leak said, and you're going to see some footage of it here. It doesn't look too small and it does look pretty awesome, so I can't wait to try that out. Again, you'll see more people in uniforms and with the helmets on, which does lead me to believe that you can purchase these in the DLC. Here you'll see the runway attendant or the flight assistant, not sure what they're called, but you will notice he has a bright yellow vest on and he also has uh, gloves on, which means there's a possibility that those will be coming to GTA Online. Here you'll notice the military clothing that I believe is in the game on the far left and right soldiers, and then you'll also see the pilot outfits and that new pilot mask to the left, which may become purchasable in the game. Here you'll notice this gentleman with the, or he's a sergeant, something like that. He has a neat hat on, which may be available for purchase. This shot's just showing the finesse of the Basa, which means it's going to be very agile, probably a very light and mobile jet. It may actually be the fastest jet in comparison to the laser. Not sure yet, but it does seem to be really good. Here we have another shot of the Buckingham Mill jet, and you can see a couple of soldiers in there and possibly some new clothing, but this is the jet that's supposedly supposed to hold up to 16 players, and it does look pretty large. Here you'll notice this man skydiving, and he has that special mask on, which again may be available for purchase as a mask. We have a new military parachute being shown here, which is probably amongst the many of new parachutes that you could buy. Here we have the buzzer landing on the back of a truck's trailer, and this is probably one of the skill testing missions that are going to be brought to us in the Flight School update. In this scene, we have the laser flying through, and it does give us a cinematic angle. A lot of people were saying this may be the Hydra. I don't think so. This is definitely the laser, and I'm not sure what the Hydra is. Not sure if they're including it in this update. Supposedly, it was supposed to be added with its uh, hovering abilities, and the code also suggested it would be a two-player plane, and it would cost $1.7 million. Now, I can't confirm or deny that it will or will not be in the update but for at least from the trailer we don't see any evidence of it being in but they've done this before where they added vehicles and did not show it in like a preview here we have another shot of the cock wet this time with what seems to be a hooker in the passenger seat and i don't think i mentioned this before but the cock wet will cost six hundred sixty five thousand dollars to purchase at least this is what the leaks have said here we have the bases just flying, you see more gameplay of them, and you see them being agile, and these are possibly things that we will be doing in the solo flight missions. Here we have the first shots of the Swift helicopter. This helicopter is actually from GTA 4, it was in that game, it was in the Ballad of Gay Tony, and it's returning in GTA 5, and you'll actually notice that it doesn't have any of the wheels down, which leads me to believe that you will be able to activate the wheels up and down with the left stick, as you will notice it has the wheels down in some of the other shots. Here we have a bunch of cockwets racing, this time you'll see the hardtop version to the left, it does look really cool, and you'll see a bunch of the convertible versions too. Here's just an overall shot, you'll see the cockwet, you'll see the swift helicopter with the wheels down, which I was mentioning a bit earlier, and you'll probably be able to activate those, and you'll see the base that are flying above. Here we have the really awesome addition of country flags to your parachute bag. Yes, I see Canada there. You also have Spain, the UK, Jamaica, I believe France to the right. And in the next shot, you even see America, Brazil, Scotland, and even Germany. Also, if you notice, you'll see on the far right, that does look to be a female character model. So all the outfits do seem like they will be for females as well. In addition to that, you'll notice they're wearing gloves, which either means that you'll have the gloves with the outfits or you can purchase them separately. Here's another very interesting scene. You will see the sergeant. Again, that's possibly something that you can purchase. And you also notice that these two men have at least the one in the middle has dog tags is that something that we could purchase just like you could buy chains and i believe those military pants are already in the game but they i think they are from single player with those boots and everything but i'm not sure next up we have this guy riding the vader and of course that's already in the game you see the laser in the back as well and he is wearing the outfit i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure convinced at this point that you can purchase that outfit and that it does come with the gloves and stuff 
Here we have what looks to be two new celebrations. There's like this dancing one and there's sort of like a stripper dance sort of thing. And they do seem to be the extended versions. And these guys look a bit more muscular and that makes us wonder, are they actually NPCs or are they something that we could additionally do to our players and make them a bit more jacked? Here again is the stripper taunt I was talking about, and you'll see dog tags again, so again possibly that's an accessory that you can purchase. You'll also notice on the far left that gentleman's wearing like a different type of uniform, a different shirt. Maybe that's something we could buy, and I'm not too familiar with all the tattoos in the game, I haven't memorized them all. So some of these may be new tattoos that we could purchase. Here's another shot of the new outfits and clothes accessories that could possibly purchase, possibly the new masks as well, that could be coming in this update. And the last thing that does seem to be a stretch is that you'll see these uh, jets at the end. They do have blue and red trails coming from them. I don't think that's going to be coming into the game as something you knew, but you never know. And I think it's just for the outro of this video, but again, you never know. So as you know, this update is coming out tomorrow, August 19th, which is National Aviation Day in the USA. Pretty appropriate. I can't wait for this update. A couple more things not in that video that I want to bring up is that it does say in the Newswire post that this update will feature a collection of new air and land vehicles, and it makes it plural, which makes me think that the Cockwet is not going to be the only new vehicle available. You can also do solo air challenges and much more, and that much more usually means a lot from Rockstar. They will be putting a bunch more in there. They're also fixing missions. They're adjusting them to increase the payouts for harder to complete missions and they're also promoting like cooperative play by increasing the GTA money bonuses for playing with other players. As for a specific time, this update will be coming out, like I said, it does come out August 19th, and the time will be 2 to 3 a.m. PST, 5 to 6 a.m. EST, and 10 to 11 a.m. UK. I hope you guys are as excited for this update as me, and again, if you'd like to have a chance to win $8 million in GTA money, it would really help you could buy everything in this update. Definitely check out the description of this video, and there will be the ways to enter for both Twitter and Instagram. Unfortunately for YouTube, I do need to look into the giveaway rules for that. Don't want to risk it in this video. It is a bit complicating now, so I will have to do it on Twitter and Instagram until then. I will also be releasing a ton of videos tomorrow i'm talking like five six seven eight videos so definitely tune into those i want to thank you guys for your awesome support thanks for watching i hope you have an awesome day and peace out <laughs>